the thing with Echo is, well, let's, let's, what do you think? What, what are you doing with Echo right now? Like, what, why do you play Echo? Is she fun? What are your favorite parts about her? What do you think that she's good at? Um, she's my play style. Which I is just what? think she's kind of my play style. Okay, which is like what? Farah, Farah, kind of. It's kind of like Farah. All right. I I would kind of say that. Um, oh, all right. I love uh, what? Where is it? Which one is it? I don't know where it is. I think it's this one. So that's sticky bombs, and that's flight so it's this one. Yep. The beam. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Why am I green? It needs to be pink. <laughs> right. Well, good luck with that. Okay. So you can fly around like Farah. Yes. Um. You can move around really f fast like Tracer, and you can like zoom in and out like Genji, depending on the fight, right? Yes. So the thing that makes Echo really, really unique is she can basically go anywhere she wants. Because even something like a Farah is she can fly in the air, but she's really slow, right? She's slow. Unless you land your concussive blast in the ground and move yourself around quickly, which even then you have to wait on that long cooldown, she's a little slow. Genji has to wait in this long dash cooldown. Tracer can move around really fast, but she's really, she really... She can't get in the air. Right, she can't get in the air. So she's locked to the ground. So with Echo, the most unique and powerful thing about her is the fact that she can be anywhere at any time throughout the game. Now, she can get shot, so you have to still be careful, and you have to make sure that you're not in the middle of the enemy team. But, for example, like, let's say... The enemy team is pushing, right? They're starting to push, and you guys have won the fight, so you guys are holding the point. So they're pushing up through it, up this way, right? Yes. Now, normally, you would be set up and waiting for the enemy team to come, right? What makes Echo really strong is she can go, hmm, hey, Zenyatta, give me a harmony orb, right? I'm going to fly over their spawn and shoot down them. And then as they're walking up, I'm going to hide and shoot more, and then hide and shoot more, and then hide and shoot more. And hide and shoot more and because and because they have a really hard time actively getting to you and shooting you unless they're running an echo of their own which unfortunately they are nobody can really stop you from just constantly doing damage as long as you're careful with your positioning like hiding near like a wall or something like that the other thing about echo is not only can she do damage basically 100% of the time as long as she's positioned carefully is she does damage, immense damage. Like, so what is Reaper good at, right? Reaper's good at killing what? Uh, tanks. And think about something like a Tracer or Genji. What is Genji, let's say, good at killing what? Uh, probably an Ana or... Right, dead. squishies, right? The dash and, and, and being really fast and deflect, like squishies and stuff like that. Now, Echo is unique because she is really good at killing both. She does not... She is, can kill a... Uh, an Ash very, very quickly, and she can kill a Diva and Orisa very, very quickly. Now, why is that? Not only is her damage shot very fast, right? Because this bit, wait, 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 keep focus. What does this do? This is, it like sticks to them. Right, sticks to them. And is it easier or harder to stick it to a big hero? Easier. Obviously easier, right? So you can, it might be hard to get all your sticky bombs on like a squishy hero, but very easy to shoot, land all of your shots and land your sticky, all of your sticky bombs on a big hero like an Orisa. And then what's the nail in the coffin, so they say? What's the big finisher that makes it very easy to kill tanks? Uh... The beam. The beam. Because what happens is you land a couple shots at Orisa and Sticky Bomb. If she doesn't get healed instantly, you beam her and she's going to die. Sometimes you can even kill her right through her fortified cooldown. Um, and the same thing goes with D.Va. I was playing some games with my friends last night and playing some D.Va and Echo. And I was act no, I'm not a great D.Va, honestly. But if the Echo caught me off guard by even a little bit, I wasn't watching her 100% of the time, she would beat me in a 1v1. If I didn't use her sticky bombs. Because if even I ate a couple of headshots, if she got me with one or two headshots and she started to beat me, it was over. I, I, could, I couldn't even fly away in time sometimes. Because she would do 300 damage to me in about a second and a half. So, your job is to pick who is the easiest 
enemy on the enemy team? Who is the most important enemy? Who is the most dangerous enemy? What is the enemy that is closest to me that I can kill and pressure and shoot that enemy? And then your job is to make sure that you're not flying completely out in the open. Just because you can fly everywhere doesn't mean you should. Why? What, what does this hero do right here? Shoots me from a long range. Right, she can shoot you from a long range. So you kind of like how with Ana, you always wanted to be near a corner. You want to be near a corner with Echo, but you might your corner might be in the middle of the sky, <laughs> right? So yes. you want to be shooting from different angles at as many paces as you can. You can shoot anything you want, but you want to make sure that you're doing it from cover. Otherwise, they will kill you because they're running an Echo Throne and they're running... A diva who could chase you, but most importantly, they're running the ash who could deal with you pretty easily. The only the last thing I would say is, when do you use your beam? Very important. When do you use your beam? Um, when do I use it or when am I supposed to? When are you supposed to use it? I would say it when you're about to uh, kill someone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is obviously, this, you can animation cancel left click into right click to do your sticky bumps. But the beam does like no damage unless they're 50% or less in HP. In other words, if they're half health or lower. And then it does a ton of damage. So don't use your beam unless they're low in health. If they are low in health, definitely use it and you'll just kill them super That's fast. That's what happened. Oh! <laughs> what happened? I, mean, I, I'm, I, I was confused about the beam. I was like, yep. how is sometimes it bigger, and how is it sometimes smaller? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it makes a special noise when you're using it at the proper time, at 50% or lower. And you can also do it on shields, too. So if the Reinhardt shield is like, you know, it's 1600 HP, right? If uh, the Reinhardt shield... <laughs> well, you know you do. If the Reinhardt shield is like 800 <laughs> HP, or look like, look like it's broken, if you beam the shield, you'll bust it instantly. So it's not just... Um, people it's also their shields break very fast if you use beam so don't waste your beam if somebody's not low hp because it doesn't like do any damage and then you don't have it anymore so, you ready uh kind of so a lot of talking so we'll kind of see what we got here we'll turn the audio a little bit i do not use audio so even like this like right here it's like do you really want to duel an echo at that far away <laughs> Not really. Not really. Kind of hard to hit your shots. Um, probably won't get the kill, especially because she's got what is she, what's attached to her right now. A uh, beam. No, she's got a mercy, right? She's got a beam attached to her. Right now, what you could be doing is landing headshots on the Orisa, throwing your sticky bombs, and then Orisa would be like, oh, I'm 5 HP, and the fight hasn't even started yet. That's basically Echo in a nutshell. Um, just very, very, very strong. So don't worry just about shooting the hard hit. Remember, you shoot what's easy with Echo, because you can literally shoot anything you want. That is an interesting use of beam. Now, notice that it was the special color. Now, why was it the special color? Because the, it was half. Because the, the, the shield is half, right. Bang! Gone. It was like, no, I need healing! Help! Yeah, yeah so... <laughs> In general, I don't want you playing like the, like a Reaper here. I want you, because you can fly around and be anywhere you want, you can still shoot tanks, but I want you positioned a little bit to the side. So you remember with Tracer, how you were always trying to get behind the enemy team, if you could? Yes. With Echo, she's not really tanky, is she? And no. because she can fly anywhere she wants, you can be anywhere that you want. So instead of standing just behind your shield, which is kind of hard to see, and you can get, eat a lot of spam damage like this Moira orb and stuff like that, why don't you just play off to the angle over here? Oh. Hmm. So so that's probably what we'll look at. We'll, we'll look at who you're shooting, what the abilities that you're using, and how you're positioning yourself. Are you positioning off to the angle there? You see how hard it is to see right here? Think about if you're over to the left a little bit. They might not even pay attention to you at all, and then you wouldn't take any damage. And really only your beam needs to be up close. Everything else is really long range. Okay. Is that the ash? I think that was the ash. Mm, hard to say. Yeah, yeah, the Ash might have done the damage before you got beamed. Yeah. Cause it lots seemed like it of little, damage. lots of little things about um, Echo, about how you can move faster and stuff like that. But we'll focus on the basics here. So like right it's now like again. Doing yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. It is like doing this. Now what's the problem here? Based I'm off not of... even hitting the beam. Mm, no. What's the first problem here? How are you positioning yourself? I want you here, right? I don't want you standing just behind Jarvis' shield. Right? 
Mm -hmm. Why? Because... What's gonna hit you? The spam damage. Damage orb, Arisa spam, dynamite, micro-missiles, um, any spam that Echo's shooting, and she's not even shooting at you, she's shooting at your Arisa and you end up taking. I want you to play over here. Play near the pillars, play near cover, and then you can still spam here, but you don't eat the same stuff that your Arisa's taking. Right? But that beam is bad. Why? Because she's not even... Right, she's not 50% HP. Think before right. you use your ability. Now she, she was right at the end, and then you... Boom, that's actually a really good use to sticky bombs because they detonate as soon as she leaves the mech and then you just kill baby. I like it. I, I killed the baby. <laughs> mm hmm. What's wrong here again? I'm in the front. Right. And the thing is, is like you want to be able to position yourself on an angle if you can anyway. Because think of it this way. What happens if they don't look at you? Then I kill all of them. You kill all of them, right? They don't even accidentally damage you because you're on the off angle, right? They might accidentally damage you if you stand by Jerissa because of damage orb and dynamite and spam damage, right? They mm -hmm. have to actively look at you and chase you to kill you. But what if they do that? What can you do? Their team shoots them. Right. Your team isn't taking any damage at all. They can either shoot you or they can shoot your team. They can't shoot both, right? Remember, we had the same conversation with what hero? You remember what hero we talked about this with last week? Uh, last week. Mm -hmm. Diva. <laughs> now, why is it that you and Diva both want to often be playing off angles? What is similar about you and Diva? Hint. Shift. Shift. Well, what is it? What's similar about the shift? Uh, it makes you fly. Mm -hmm. You can move around very fast. So you're not very slow, takes six years to get over here, and then if enemies run at you, you can't run away, right? You can run away. You can play that off angle, and then if they come after you, what can you do like Diva? Fly away. Fly away. Right. Just like Tracer. That's why Tracer plays in the back line, because they can't run after you, can they? <laughs> it's a waste not of, really. It's a waste of time, right? So that's why you play the off angle. You, you make them look at you away from your team. And you can shoot behind shields even. Like, look at how this Arisa has her shield set up. You can just shoot right past the shield if you're, if you're on this angle. Um, and it's safer, too. Okay, so let's see. Boink, boink, boink. Sure, shoot the Arisa. Okay. Yeah, that, that. Now, you missed it, but was this a good use of beam? Yes. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. I mean, you could just have to tickle her if she's dead. I think you might get her, too. Yeah, I do. Nice. Okay. I played this game last night, <laughs> or no, yesterday, mm -hmm. in that episode, I can't tell. Unfortunate. Kind of panicked there, and you missed. Alright. Bang, 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 bang. Just bang, bang, bang. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be like, okay, you know I've heard of Santa Claus? I'm gonna be Angry Claus, okay? Because I'm gonna say, <laughs> no, 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 and I'm gonna leave coal no. in your stocking, even if you're a good kid. Because I'm fed up with this trash then you get a diamond okay okay right, now you're just flexing oh, i know diamonds are made of carbon okay um but literally though like <laughs> but like seriously though this is just you pressing abilities for no reason like if you're gonna spam an ability spam your left click and maybe spam your your, your bombs this the e is not an ability you want to spam e is like i am going to kill you and now you're dead right it is a very important ability not to waste right Right. Okay, so stop doing this. And what else is the problem here? Uh. Where is your positioning right now? It should be over here. You should be over here. There's better cover there. If the Ash is shooting you, you can actually like go around and get to her really close, like Diver, without walking way out in the open, right? Just get on the angle here. Because even though you're not running an Orisa anymore, where do you think your Zarya is shooting from? From here. Uh, Where do you think your Zen's shooting from? From here. Where do you think your BAP is shooting from? From here. Get over here. There's nobody over here. Take that angle from your team and they won't know what to do, right? Right. Now, we're going to talk about your ult when you get it, because you should be getting it soon here. This is, uh, yeah, oh, oh yeah. Look, look, stop, stop, stop. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look how free you are. Free as in, like, you're, nobody's touching you. Now, you're really low in HP when this, unfortunately, you should have been at full HP if you'd positioned properly. But look at this. Look at this. You see this? Yes. This this Arisa's dead. Right? 
because of the offing. Right. Nobody was even looking at you. Now, you drop here, which is a little unfortunate, but, yeah. Fall to Versus the rescue. Here. Yeah. Really, that, that, I mean, that's it. I wouldn't necessarily recommend playing that angle, but, and also, <laughs> uh, Cinder, that is full HP. Shoot first, and then, like, if you headshot her, she's going to be, like, half HP almost instantly, and then you can be. And that's the nice thing about uh, Echo 2, is you can do your abilities, like, super fast. It's not like, oh, I have to shoot, it takes a long time. No, very fast. Nice. Okay. Not look at that. Look at look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look how much damage you did there. Bang 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 bang. Boosh. That's like why you do your left click, not your beam. Your beam is super fast to finish. Everything else is super fast to start. Arissa's I, just this feeding. Is terrible. Old. Terrible. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So here's the deal. You want to have a conversation about how to use her ultimate? Uh. So, so there's a lot of really complicated ways to think about using her ultimate properly. Okay. I think the most important um, thing to think about, though, is you want to pick a hero that you can go really aggressive with and not worry about it, and build your ultimate, right? So what's a hero that you, if you just went all into the enemy backline, you might get a kill, but you definitely die? Uh, Reaper. Reaper, yeah. What about Reinhardt? Probably, right? There's a yes. reason. There's a reason why sh just charging Reinhardt sometimes win fights, even if they die immediately. Why? Because they go in there and they get a lot of kills. They're hammer and they have a lot of HP. Um, what about like a Winston? Yes. Yeah, you can just dive the back line, right? And what's going to happen when you do that with Echo? You're going to build Earth Shatter, aren't you? And you're going to yes. build Primal Rage, aren't you? And with Reaper, you're going to build Death Blossom. And with Doomfist, you're not supposed to use all three abilities. Remember that? We talked about that. But guess what? Use all three matter. abilities. It doesn't matter. You're going to build your ultimate, and then you're going to go up, Meteor Strike, and just slam down, use all three abilities again, and you're going to build another Meteor Strike, right? I don't think you're supposed to build two, but okay. You, you can build as many as you want. Really? Yes, you can. So with what they're running, now this this is you shouldn't really be using your ult here anyway. You, you guys have won this fight. This, this Arissa is silly. This is the Arissa that clonks her head, and this is the Arissa that eats glue at school. Okay, I don't know what she's doing. <coughs> um, this fight's lost. She's walking in. You could kill her easily. So look at the enemy team. Ignore the echo, obviously. What is a hero that you could go really aggressive with and build your ult really fast? Uh, Diva. Yep, Diva. Diva is very good. Just Diva. Diva is very good. Really, just Diva. I think Moira might be okay because you can throw like a damage orb and you can build your ult really fast and you can get like a coal. But I think Diva is your best option. You can boost her in, just blast somebody, build your bomb. Oh no, I'm dead. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I'm gonna go out and fly away again. And everybody that was shooting you, everybody, oh, kill the Diva, kill the Diva! And what is your team doing? Uh, okay, I guess we're not being shot. Let's kill them now, right? You paid a lot of attention and you survived too. So, easy choice for me is Diva. Diva, uh, Winston, Reinhardt, Doomfist, Reaper. I think Tracer's okay, but you have to be careful. You really want to build that pulse bomb. Um, I don't know. It's up to you. Arissa is actually not too bad, but if you want to pick Arissa, what I want you to do is fly in the air and pick Arissa like in their back line. Like literally be in their back line. Oh, wow. Like a flanking that, Arissa. That be... Now, why would that work? Because it doesn't matter if you die. Yeah, you're literally in their back line, and, and then you can just press your shield and your fortify, and you can shoot them in the back. And they're like, kill the Arissa behind us. But the problem is, is Arissa is kind of hard to kill, right? Especially when you have fortify. And you're going to build and your bongo. Also... And Bong was a really strong ultimate. So Orisa's fine, just make sure that if you're gonna be in Orisa, make sure that you're like really deep, not just sitting back here. Right? Yes. Okay. I picked the hero with the best ultimate. Yeah, Orisa is good. But just not where you are now, because you didn't need it and there's no way to shoot. You wanna fly over their heads and pick Orisa and drop on top of them. We were playing a game, alright? And our Echo picked Reinhardt, and but she picked Reinhardt like while she was flying over them, right? So the Reinhardt, this oh, is no. pretend this is a Reinhardt, right? <laughs> so she picks Reinhardt, drops from the sky, and pins the Reinhardt back into the tree. 
Oh wow. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. That's and you could do nice. that. You should do that. You should do that. It's that's that's like terrifying. What is that Reinhardt supposed to do? Is a Reinhardt all of a sudden behind him? What on earth? All right, I don't want to coach Arisa. <laughs> Not <laughs> boing. Yep. Just, just you. We we don't have to coach every single. I I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> I randomly switch into. Mm, now I like that we're putting early spam damage here. We have to be a little careful of the ash. But what do I not like here? That I die. Mm, well, that's well. Yes, you ending that's... on the floor here. That. But yes, also the beam. Why are you beaming? They're not 200 oh. HP. Yeah. So you ended too too deep. Too deep. Do you want to get help? Okay, no, you're fine. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. I walked in it twice, and I did not mean to do it either time. What's the problem? Two problems here. The beam. Mm-hmm. And. <laughs> and what? Uh. Beam. This like over here. Yeah, and where should you be? I should be like right here, mm -hmm. right here. Yep, yep. <laughs> what? Ah! You're almost dead. I always put my sticky bombs there. Yeah, that's good. I'm like, oh, heal me! Heal me! Heal me! Hurry! Hurry! <laughs> hurry! <laughs> Right in front of the Ana. Heal me! Oh, Heal me! Blessings. That was pretty bad for the Ana. It's not a good look. It's like the Ana's like, get out of my face! What do you want? <laughs> and I'm like, Heal me! Heal me! I don't know if I'm saying I need healing, but I should have. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll wrap it up there. I'm sure that you did phenomenally and killed everybody instantly afterwards, but the big thing yeah. that I'm saying <laughs> is. Well, you tell me. What were the two big things you think? Uh, my beam usage. Which? Uh, what and about my your beam usage? What about your beam usage? Uh, I was using it when they were. Yep, that's pretty much it. it. And what about your positioning? Very simply. I need it sideline. Sideline, side sure. Side yeah, not even completely sideline. Just a little to the side. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna practice your beam usage, and I'm gonna be playing Roadhog. Now the deal with Roadhog is if you mess up your beam usage. You're gonna do like no damage to me, right? You need to wait until I'm half HP. I won't use my vape, alright? Wait till I'm half HP. If you time it well, what's gonna happen? Uh. You're gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Alright, so again, what are you practicing? What are you focusing on? My beam. Alright. Okay. Where the. What the? Oopsies. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say you were allowed to do that! Uh, I did say, it. of course I'm allowed to do that. Can I use this? Yeah, of course you can. Woo! Yeah. Now I'm 250 HP right now. That's half of 600. Less than half of 600, right? So what should you do as soon as you see me? Beam you? Like that? That's it. And then I have, I have all my sprays too. Hold on, I you can also go shoot into a beam. You can do like shoot beam like that if you want to. He's violent, but he's not a girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying that boys are scared. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, I am roasted. Okay. <laughs> No! How am I supposed to do this? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> that took right. me overly long. It took you a little too long, definitely. Hey, you got play of the game though, that's good. You're cranking up the difficulty level. So... You're gonna no-go another what? hero. Again, what are you focusing on? What's the number one thing? My beam. W not right. When to use your beam. Making sure that you're not wasting it too early. But oh making sure God. that you are using it, because it is strong. Alright. It is very strong. Hold on. I'm I did not see that fortify. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's this, uh, oh my gosh. Ow! I can't aim. 
I'm not very good with this hero. I'm not very good at that hero either. Oh! I timed my beam right. Yeah, you did. You see how like close I was to dying? Yes. Where are you? I can headshot. <laughs> yeah, come here. Right in here. Watch the searches. You stand here. Wait. Wait. Try it. Step, yeah. Step, step in it. Step in it. Step in it. Can you move? No. Yeah. See. There but I go. can shoot. And I can kill you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. What do you mean? Here we go. I'm, I'm just gonna you. kill you every time. That's no, you're fine. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Man. No. And now you would die. No. Or not. No. 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 Oh. Oh. It's more of a Rissa 1v1. No! Fresh play. Fresh oh. play. Alright, last round. And it's gonna be Echo 1v1s. Where are you? I'm not. Okay. Oh, look who has the classic skin. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, that wasn't your best moment. Okay, where are you? Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! I guess that works. <laughs> Surprise! And And shotgun. Oh, you're being misbehaved. Hey, finally! You're being moved better. I lost. Oh, nice beam. Nice beam. So I got up. She started, like, I let her chew on my stuff in. Mm hmm. Like half of them, and she was like chewing on them. Now we're talking about your friend, right? No, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> chewing on the stuffed animals again. Yeah. Yeah, don't win. Oh, beautiful. But I'm coming back. I'm coming back fast. Hi. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I finally won one! And I'm gonna get play the game. <gasps> I got it! I got it! Alright, well, Cinder, what are you working on with your Echo? Uh, my beam mm -hmm. to do what, what? half health. Right, and? Uh, my positioning. Right, and what about your positioning? Uh, to the sideline. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Not in the Right, exactly. Make make it make it harder for them to spam you, and also make it if they want to shoot you, they have to look away from your team. Kind of like your diva positioning. Okay, GG Cinder. Have a good Saturday. Bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you. You're welcome.